Here we go. Now, let's look at the first position. Now, the first position is going to really talk about money, finance, home, well-being. It's your money sector for the week. And we've got the Two of Pentacles and the Scorpio, or the Death card. Now, it can always mean that you might be dealing with a Capricorn. Well, if you're dealing with a Capricorn, you might be dealing with a Scorpio. If you're a Scorpio, you might be dealing with a Capricorn. That is just the basic information that comes through on that. But something is changing. Something is really trying to evolve, maybe, in your career sector, in the way you make your money. I think that something is really beginning to change, though. Maybe what you've been doing is finally catching on. Maybe you're finally going through the end of the bad period. That comes with the death part, whatever has ended. Uh, maybe this is past failures. Maybe it's the disappointment from something that didn't work out in your career path, in your financial journey. It feels like there has been some sort of a transformation going on. The transformation at this time is making you feel like you have some sort of a balance, an equal give and take. For this period of time, I think you're going through some trans transformative things where your finances, where your well-being, where your work is concerned. I think positive changes, though. The two says that you're gaining that balance, that being able to maintain more than one situation at once without getting off balance, without... <clears throat> And this is with the foundation. So you're feeling pretty good about where you stand right now. Um, again, the word balance is overused with this card, but that, that's really the only thing you can say most positively is even though there may be some things going on around you, you also know that... Um, you're standing pretty firm. Uh, progress is being made. Old things that have died away are phased out. And now you're transport, transporting yourself into another place where your finances and your money is concerned. Work. Now, your home and your personal life. The Eight of Pentacles <laughs> and, and the Knight of Swords. And I don't mean to laugh, but it's just so, so typical of my Capricorns to be so involved in their work that it crosses over into the home. Now, you may be working out of your home, but it feels like you're working pretty steadily. I think for the most part, you may even be rushed in some ways to do some projects. I think that means that, you know, whatever you're doing that's crossing over into the home is actually going to be a nice, fruitful, fulfilling time where money is concerned. And uh, you may be an independent where you can bring your home work, where your work home with you. And it feels good. You have that kind of uh, equal give and take. Just like this is equal give and take. So I'm going to say for a lot of you, you may be splitting up your work uh, duties with uh, your time at home. You may be bringing extra work home with you. And hopefully with the Eight of Pentacles here, you'll be given the right gratification. Uh, you know, the, the type that pays the bills, 
It's going to be really important for you. I think especially some of you are feeling like the seasons are changing really quickly. I myself am going through that. And you may be feeling like you have to really dig in and work extra hard here because we are going to be facing the holiday season. Now, my friend Laughing Buddha here says, while you're busy at work and while you're carrying some of that work home with you and maybe having to get some things frantically accomplished with the changing of the seasons and certain times being upon you, experience things with laughter and joy. Don't take things so hard. Uh, experience some joy in whatever it is that you're doing here. Now, what is the primary focus of the week? Growth and love. Interesting. So it is kind of a crossover for the week, isn't it? where you're really kind of wanting to experience the growth here through the hard work. And you're also wanting some sort of contact, some kind of interaction, maybe, uh, with family. It looks like with the Empress, maybe you're looking, you're very busy, and you're looking to have some FaceTime with a partner with your children, with your grandchildren, you know. But right now, it feels like it's kind of a hectic week. Get more work done. Uh, maybe have some things coming in in a rush that need to be done, hurried along. Face those things with the power of joy. Bring in the family at some point. There is a focus to spend time doing that because it may be what you really need to have in your life. Um, the family, the joy time, because there's an overwhelming concentration on what you're doing professionally. Now, surroundings and outsiders. The Emperor and the Three of Pentacles. Interesting to me that you're bringing more work in. It comes in from your outsiders, your outside influences, your associates, those that are not close to you. What's happening in the outer realms of your life and you have more authority with the emperor as if some things coming at you from your boss is what's really overwhelming you or whatever it is that controls your money sector, your craft, the way you earn your money, your associations. And again, in your surroundings, we also have almost you being ruled by your master, whether it's your career, whether it's your boss, whether it's both. You're sort of being ruled by that drive to earn money at this point. And there's nothing wrong with that, especially if you foresee maybe a long, cold winter. You're going to want to take advantage of those opportunities while you can, because I think I might have struck a chord with someone. The cold, hard winter is coming. Holidays are coming. That means money going out and little coming in. Everybody that I know of has a slow up around the holidays unless you're the guy that owns Amazon. So, and I love Amazon. I'm going to say it right now. <laughs> I can't live without Amazon. That's my little secret. But anyway, I'm probably going to get stricken for using the name here, but I don't care. I love them. Um, listen, I think that, uh, whatever you're being ruled by here is what's really kind of influencing you 
from inside the home and outside of the home. There's a great big concentration on bringing your dreams into reality. And that can only be done through the hard work that's connected through whatever it is that you're doing here. The concentration to earn is really very significant. Now, next, we want to look at what comes next. The Eight of Swords and the Sun. So, honestly, even though I see you might be trapped in a situation, trapped in a situation that is driven by money, driven driven by focus on the home, on stability, on the family. I think that you even though you're you're kind of trapped in the situation for now, the sun is here. Again, it's another mention that you need to use the power of joy even when you're stuck in oppressive, overwhelming, controlled by career, controlled by money, ruled by life and its exercises, and knowing that there is something better behind it, that there is a powerfully happy uh, result if you push on through and keep going. And even though you feel stuck in the situation, the rewards are coming behind it. And that's the really the important thing you need to look at. Are what are the rewards that are going to be delivered to you once you're through with this period of very hard work? And I feel for Capricorn, this week is going to bring an incredibly hard week of work and development, but the expansion is positive and there is something really, really special about the ending, about uh, the results of all of this hard work. And that's going to be different for each and every one of you. Now, what are the objections? Or, or I'm sorry, the objectives and the visions. Objectives and visions. The objectives and visions. Well, there's no reason to get freaked out about the devil. Because what we have here is this chained up situation here. It's the same thing as the devil. So you're really kind of chained to your desk, chained to whatever career is as, is holding for you right now. You're making sacrifices in your personal life. Maybe you're needing more time with your kids, needing more time with a partner, needing more time for enjoyment. But you're, again, I really feel like you're sort of, um, by no choice of your own, you're forced to make a sacrifice for whatever this uh, career path that is. Again, I'm being told you need to you need to use the power of joy, the happiness, the laughter to get you through the rough spots because I think this is going to be. For some Capricorns, overwhelmingly strenuous, busy maybe, uh, complicated week, professionally. And you may be stuck in this cycle for a while. Um, you're being asked for patience with the hangman. The sacrifice will be worth it. But be happy through that process. Be happy through the process. That right there, that is the culmination. We're using the Sibylas for this. That's Il Vedovo. You know, that troubling time that you're going through now, 
that's going to be over with, without regret, without regret for all the, of the hard work. Voyage, you know, there are movements towards something better. And it may even lead to a well-deserved rest for you. After all of this hard time, you may finally get the opportunity to take a well-deserved rest. Now, we also have the reunion here. And so I think that if you've got a partner or a family that's been feeling neglected, you will figure out a way to have that connection come back together. Use the power of joy again for the reunion with the partner, the reunion with the kids, reunion to a more relaxed life, whatever it is. Happiness is a direct effect of what you need to do. So go for it. Whenever happiness can be a, uh, uh, a, a um, I almost want to say, like a um, reaction <laughs> to whatever it is that you're doing, then you have to go for it. Just go for it. And uh, that's what I've got for you for this week. It looks good. It looks good. But it looks like, you know, busy, complicated. A lot of work maybe needing to be accomplished. Uh, but... Even though it interferes with family time, with personal time, honestly, I think it all comes together at the end. A happy place. Maybe even you get a chance to take a real break. <laughs>